Hello everyone and welcome to another Pokemon TCG video. So today we are going to be looking at a classic combination that always seems to be performing very very well in tournaments. So uh, the cards that I'm talking about are going to be the Verizon EX and Genesect EX deck. So Verizon EX is extremely extremely powerful because of his Burden Twin ability which prevents any sorts of abilities such as poisoning, confusion, or sleep, affecting any of our active Pokemon that have any grass energies attached to them. So this is a very, very useful, um, very, very useful uh, ability. And uh, in combination with the Emerald Slash attack, which allows us to power up our grass, uh, just power up any Pokemon generally much quicker by searching our deck for two grass energies and attaching them on it allows us for a very quick power up of Genesis EX and with its Megalo Cannon attack it can do up to 100 damage but if you give it the G booster then that's 200 damage negating all sorts of opponent's abilities and there's also Genesis EX's red signal essentially functions to act as a Lysander to drag out one of our opponent's Pokemon and then to kill them so this is a very uh, effective anti Donphan deck because uh, Donphan's <laughs> specialty is to hit and run, but uh, Genesis EX can drag him right back into the field and we can pound away with him with our Megalo Cannon and just do a lot of damage to him. So it's a very, it's a very uh, powerful combination and it always seems to perform very well in tournaments, just uh, showing us just how powerful of a deck this actually is. So what we're going to be doing slightly different is that our deck is also going to include the uh, two Raichus. So the reason for this is that, as I've mentioned a few times before, Vital EX is a very common Pokemon with respects to the current rotation that's happened. So it's always useful to have a Raichu and also the fact that we don't necessarily have any anti-pyro counters, so Raichu's effectively going to function as one of those. Um, we're also going to be running Jirachi EX because we want to be able to get our supporter cards as soon as we can and um, it's very crucial in a Brizian and Genesec EX deck. So with the Jirachi EX we can go ahead and look for a Skyla and then grab a G Booster or whatever else card it is that we really need. Mr. Mime is um, also a very good card to have in this type of deck because we want to prevent our opponent from hurting our Pikachu. So say if they have a Landris EX, uh, two attacks and that would pretty much knock out our Pikachu, so Mr. Mime is here to essentially prevent that. Um, some other cards that we're also going to be running is, um, as you can see we have two Colorus Machine, and this is essentially to help speed up the power up of our Genesect EX. Um, yeah, so it allows us to search a Plasma Energy from our deck and then attach them to our Genesect EX. So we're going to be running two of these in our deck today. Um, also, as you can see the energy breakdown, we have a total of 14 energies. 10 of them being Grass Energies and 4 of them being Plasma Energies. Now this is actually more energies than uh, a lot of decks that I typically run. Um, but the, the reason that uh, we're going to be running a total of 14 energies is that Genesect EX is going to be the deadliest when he has the G-Booster attachment. But um, the downside to the G-Booster attachment is that, first of all, it performs an astounding 200 damage, but we need to discard 2 energy cards attached to him. So it's very energetically expensive. So that's why we're going to be running 14 energies, and that's why we're also going to be running an energy retrieval in case we need to retrieve some of our grass energies that we've discarded. Also, a Shadow Triad can be used to actually retrieve our G Booster if our opponent manages to uh, knock it off from our attached Genesect EX, or our Plasma Energies as well in case we need to uh, have an extra Lysander to drag out one of our opponent's Pokemon. So. Uh, yeah, so also the other thing is that the Garbodor can effectively shut down this type of deck. That's why we're going to be running two Startling Megaphones. And the Startling Megaphone is to knock out the attachment to Garbodor so that our Genesect and Verizon EX deck can uh, power through again. Um, some other cards that we're going to be running is the Professor's Letter. So this will be um, to get out some Grass Energy in case we can't find them. I pretty much run a Professor's Letter in the vast majority of my decks. But um, yeah, this is one... It's always useful to have a Professor's Letter in this deck, particularly because uh, we're going to be discarding our energies very, very quickly, and it's always nice to have a turn where we can uh, attach another energy to our Pokemon. 
we're also going to be running three energy switches. Energy switch is going to be crucial because if we um, once we actually get our Genesis EX is going, Risen EX isn't really going to be used. Risen EX is all his real main purpose is only to uh, power up our Genesis EX, and then after that, he's uh, going to be sort of a sideline Pokemon with his ability just preventing our opponents from actually affecting us with conditions. So uh, that's the purpose of that switch. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory in case uh, we need to switch over Pokemon and we don't want to discard any energies. That's the card to use. Town Map is, uh, I find it's a very crucial card to have in this type of deck. This is because if our G-Booster attachment is actually prized, then that's, uh, this, this card will allow us to retrieve it faster if we need to. And um, say if we don't actually have our G-Booster attached to our Genesis EX, it can make can make life very difficult for us, so that's why Town Map is going to be included in this deck. Um, some other cards, the typical draw support, Colrus, Professor Juniper, and pretty self-explanatory, Ultra Ball, so we can get our Pokemon as soon as we possibly can. And the last cards that we're going to really take a look at are Muscle Band, which is uh, pretty commonly used in the vast majority of my decks, allows us to dish out that extra damage. And Skyla, we're going to be running for Skyla today. Uh, they're very, very good in this type of deck because there's always an uh, item card or a supporter card or anything that we need. Skyla's just going to be extremely useful in this type of deck for us. So, uh, yeah, so this is the basic breakdown of the Verisian Genesis EX deck that we're going to be looking at. As, I, as I've said before, it's a very uh, competitive deck and it, always, it definitely has a lot of competitive potential. So, uh, yeah, so with that being said, I am going to ask one of my friends for a challenge, and yeah, so we'll see how well the Genesec DX deck actually performs. Okay, so yeah, let's just, uh, wait, I do believe I have this deck started, so alright, perfect. And let us go and challenge our opponent. Okay, so let's see if I can find him. Alright, and let's go right ahead and send him a standard challenge. I've uh, recently added this player as well because he told me that he was good, and let's hope that he is. So let's hope that this is going to be a challenging game. Alright, so it looks like our opponent might be running the Brazilian EX, Genesis EX type of deck as well, but I'm not too too sure right now. Let's just see how how things go. So it looks like our opponent is going to start first, and uh, yeah, so let's just hope we can get things going early. Uh, so our opponent's actually decided to let us go first. Not necessarily sure <laughs> what type of uh, combination our opponent's using, but I never let uh, the opponent go first. So uh, town map already been used, and we already know what types of price cards we have. Thankfully, we have our uh, G booster. Within our deck, so I'm going to grab the uh, Skyla and go ahead and grab a Professor's Letter so we can attach an energy to our Genesec EX. So let's go right ahead and do that. And okay, so still a very early game. I don't know how this is going to go, but this is essentially a mirror match. Although our opponent is running some uh, psychic Pokemon as well, which I'm going to have to assume would most likely be some Mewtwo EX or Possibly Garbodor, but I'm not sure because Garbodor would act in a very negative fashion upon our opponent's Genesec DX as well. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, so so far it's looking like an exact mirror match. We both have one Genesec DX out onto the bench and uh, a Mr. Mime. We both each have a Mr. Mime as well. So let's go ahead and Skyla once again so that we can grab ourselves a Colrus machine. Uh, so let's grab a cold machine so that we can actually start attacking this very turn. Oops. Okay, and let's go right ahead and attach the plasma energy. Really hoping our opponent actually doesn't have a uh, a G booster at hand and possibly another cold machine because then he would be able to one hit KO our Genesec DX, and that's not that's not really something I'm looking forward to. So let's go right ahead and attack that Genesec DX. And unfortunately, our Genesec EX's 20 damage is going to be prevented due to Mr. Mime. So, Mr. Mime already showing us what a useful card he is. 
and it's going to do the exact same thing for me if our opponent tries to attack me with his Genesect EX. So um, so it looks like our opponent decided to drag out one of our Genesect EXs, which is uh, just fine. I'm guessing because he's unable to power up uh, his Genesect EX to actually perform an attack right now. So it uh, looks like our opponent is going to go right ahead and bring out a Jirachi EX. I'm actually sort of hoping for an N. That would be nice. Uh, just because I feel like I need a slightly new hand as well, although I do have an end in hand, so I can't necessarily complain. But um, I think this game is definitely looking more favorably towards us, because I can go right ahead and I can actually drag out that Drachi EX and perform a one-hit knockout on it, but I would rather kill that Genesect EX. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the Plasma Energy to Genesect EX, and I'm going to retreat it, to go for the one hit knockout in his Genesec EX and at the same time I'm going to end for a new set of cards at hand so alright so looks like we have a Pikachu on the bench now bringing out a version EX and uh, I'm going to keep this Genesec EX at hand for now I don't I don't feel like it's particularly going to be of much use so let's go right ahead and knock out the Genesec EX and doesn't really matter since Mr. Mime prevents some damage and I'm definitely going to grab the Grass Energy and a Skyla so that I can actually go right ahead and grab a G Booster. So things are definitely looking up for us. Our opponent definitely cannot attack this turn. I feel like this is going to be a relatively easy victory for us. Yeah, I do not I do not foresee our opponent actually winning. Um, he could use an N and possibly get rid of that Skyla, but otherwise oh so it looks like he did. Otherwise that Genesec DX was pretty much a goner. So Okay, so this matchup is looking pretty good right now, but then again, it is a mirror match, and to a certain extent, it's pretty much a game of luck. But uh, Frisian Genesect EX, definitely a very solid combination of Pokemon. I have absolutely no idea why our opponent decided to bring out his Drachi EX, considering I can easily perform a one-hit knockout on him. But uh, you know what? I'm not complaining, so let's go right ahead and attach an energy to our Brazilian EX and let's go right ahead and knock out the Drach EX to draw two prize cards. So um I feel like the card that I'm going to grab will be an energy switch and uh, our shadow triad in case I want to pick up my plasma energy and drag out one of our opponent's bench Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and do that and okay. So uh, unless our opponent has a G booster it uh the game looks like it's pretty much going to be ours. Uh, yes, so it looks like our opponent will be able to go ahead and grab themselves a G booster, but um, I don't really foresee him making a comeback. It's uh, going to be a very difficult game for him, and it looks like, um, unfortunately, we are not going to win. It looks like our opponent actually went for a crushing hammer, which to me is uh, it's definitely sort of odd. Oh, I see. So it looks like the G booster is in the prize. That's quite unfortunate for our opponent, and I don't. With that having been done, I don't really foresee our opponent winning or even standing a chance of winning against us anymore. So that's that's very unfortunate for them. But uh, this is a mirror match after all, and that this just goes to show you how useful of a card it actually is to have Town Map with uh, this sort of Risen EX Genesis EX deck. And uh, I haven't won yet, so there's still a possibility that our opponent can actually win. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a I I am going to attach a Grass Energy to our Genesec EX. I'm going to retreat this Genesec EX and bring out our Genesec EX right over here. I'm going to grab one of our Leaf Energy and attach it to this Genesect EX and then I'm going to go right ahead and grab a Chorus Machine to attach a Plasma Energy so that our Genesect EX can actually go ahead and attack our opponent's Genesect EX. So let's go ahead and do that. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't really see a Muscle Band being all that useful since I can more or less knock out the Genesect EX in two turns. So uh, let's go right ahead and do that. And okay, so things are definitely still looking up for us. Our opponent um, is 
those six prize cards. So I feel like this game is going to be more or less ours. So that Shaman EX looks like it could be a bit of trouble uh, due to the fact that we've taken quite a few prize cards. And uh, yeah, so our opponent actually does bring out our uh, his Shaman EX. It, uh, there's definitely the possibility that he will one hit knock out our Genesect EX. Okay, so um, looks like our opponent is actually going to bring out a Mr. Mime because he needs another turn to actually uh, power up his Shaman EX. Unfortunately, I don't have any Plasma Energies to lure out one of his bench Pokemon, so I am going to go and attach a Leaf Energy to our Brizian EX. Yes, I think Brizian EX would be the wisest choice, and I'm going to go right ahead and knock out that Mr. Mime, and we are going to grab ourselves a Shadow Triad. So if our opponent doesn't doesn't actually end us to uh, lower our hand a single card it looks like we're going to win the game and yes it uh, definitely looks like we're going to win the game on uh, my turn i do believe or actually yeah 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 we should be able to win the game yeah so this game is more or less ours uh, yeah this was a mirror match although i didn't specifically use shaman ex but uh yeah okay so i'm going to go right ahead and energy retrieve the grass energy and then I'm going to go and grab the colorless machine and this will allow us to one hit knock out the shaman EX for the victory. So let's go and attach that grass energy. Let's grab ourselves a colorless machine and it looks like we are going to win the game and I want to say good game my friend. Uh, this was a very good game thank you very much and uh, yeah it looks like we're going to win the game so uh, yeah, so there you have it, Genesect and Virgin EX showing us what powerhouses they are. And thank you very much for watching, I'll see you guys next time.